Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode in this series, and in this episode I'll be talking about Bolero 5097. On April 2nd, 2010, Bolero opened his YouTube channel, and by December 8th of that same year, he transformed his new YouTube channel into what you're seeing on screen. At the time, his video content mostly consisted of Call of Duty and Zelda videos, with a few miscellaneous videos. In 2011, Bolero started doing more Let's Plays of video games, and on September 19, 2011, started a new series of videos called the Creepy Pasta Episodes, which became an important series to Bolero's channel because it got more popular than anything he did thus far. As the series became more popular and got more episodes, the quality began to change. Bolero improved the quality of the episodes by removing cuts where there was stuttering and added background music. Anyway, take a quick look at it, folks. It's followed by this weird statue, and it just follows him around respawning. Um, lies would come up saying you shouldn't have done that, uh, Ben drowned, and other crazy weird stuff. If you read the whole story, which in the link in the description will be there of course, you can get the full feel of this creepy pasta. You're not alone when you play the game. Every corner you turn, every quest you complete, every mask you obtain, every boss you defeat, every key you find, and every place you travel, there's something haunting you. Not much is known about it, but it goes by the name of Ben, and he will be watching you while you play the game The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Firstly, let's cover who Ben is. Ben is a name, and names are often associated with people and animals. I can't actually tell you who Ben is, because I'm not sure if anyone knows who Ben is. In 2012, Bolero reached the peak in his popularity, and began making more Let's Plays and Creepypasta videos at a faster rate. On January 29th, 2013, Bolero created a new YouTube channel called Bolero's Creepypastas, which was initially made to upload his Creepypasta episodes, but was eventually made to upload other types of content as well. Bolero also changed the style of his videos from editing different images in all the time, to making the amount of images smaller, but more intense and creepy. He also stopped doing his thoughts after summarizing, and instead retold the story to his audience in his own words. At some point, he also decided to upload gameplay of Slenderman the Eight Pages as well. In the year of 2014, Bolero mostly abandoned his Bolero 5097 account and started using his Bolero's Creepypasta account more often, but he wasn't making a lot of content on that account either. Bolero did add some new things though. He started streaming and playing Minecraft mods. I don't know if this happened in 2014 or 2015, but at some point, he changed the name on his Bolero's Creepypastas account to Io Bolero. What also happened in 2015 was that on both channels, he stopped making Creepypasta episodes and Let's Play videos and set all the current episodes of those two series private. The only thing that remained on his YouTube channel after setting everything to private is what you're seeing on screen right now. On January 24th, 2016, Bolero changed the name of both his channels to just Bolero, and released a teaser video about the Creepypasta episodes, and sent all the Creepypasta episodes on his Bolero 5097 channel public, and sent most of the Creepypasta episodes and his top 10 Zelda bosses list on his IO Bolero account public as well. Eight days later, he released a top 5 video about his favorite Creepypastas. On April 12th of that same year, he started a playthrough of Deadpool, but also on this day I was able to convince him to put his speedrun of the Great De Deku Tree back on YouTube by leaving a comment on the video. I'd show it, but Bolero set the Deadpool video private, so before I got a chance to screen cap it, and I can't do it now. Between May and November, Bolero released montages about League of Legends in a top 10 list about Mortal Kombat. At the end of November and start of December, Bolero released two new Creepypasta episodes, which I thought were very well done. Take a quick look at them, folks. 1999 is a dark story that revolves around the topic of child murder and cultism. Before I continue this video, I feel the need to make everyone aware that this story is not real. The story follows a man named Elliot. He recalls getting a TV off his dad due to complaining consistently that he misses an episode of Pokemon each day. NES Godzilla is one of the stories amongst many that revolve around haunted games. The story follows a character known as Zack. After giving the game away when he was 10 years old, he decided to get another copy in his adult life. This is where he saw the shocking things the game possessed. The first chapter goes as follows. 
So after getting the game as an adult, he begins to play and nostalgia comes flooding like a wave. Between January 4 and 11, 2017, Blurrow started streaming Dead by Daylight and made a montage about it, which can be viewed in the links of the description of this video. So what are my final thoughts on this? Well, I love the creepypasta videos and the top 10 list, and I enjoyed the Let's Plays. I also like the speedrun of the Great Deku Tree.